Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Void Fox, and this is Spin Tires. A mud flinging, tire spinning, winch pulling, log delivering, heavy cargo hauling, off road sandbox simulator for one to four players by OV Game Studios. I'm just gonna sh say this right now I'm in love with this game. Really. When I first saw this game, I thought, oh wow, all you do is just drive around in mud, get stuck, deliver some logs. That's it. Sure, it's got co-op, but how much fun can it be with adding just, you know, three other players? And then I played it, and then I was like, oh my god, mind was blown. It's just such an amazing experience. Uh, the, the fun comes with the challenge of actually getting unstuck and... Uh, basically creating your own objectives. There are main objectives in the game, and that, of course, is delivering lumber. I believe the de developers are planning on adding more objectives, more maps, more vehicles down the road. Uh, for now, they're focusing on bug fixing. But there are, there are objectives uh, already in place. The game ships with five maps, uh, fairly large maps, all with their, all unique, their own unique challenges and terrain and whatnot. Uh, like this one's got a river going through the middle... Uh, this one's uh, probably quite hilly, so on and so forth. Uh, we'll try the planes for this playthrough anyway. And then you have different modes. There's casual mode, and there's hardcore, hardcore mode. Uh, we're going to play hardcore for this Let's Play session. The difference is, the main differences between casual and hardcore is when you play casual, you can teleport your vehicle to a garage, and that will automatically fix it and refuel it. Uh, you can skip time. You can uh, use a GPS sort of navigation system that... Uh, when you put waypoints on the map, it'll show up in the real game world as you're driving. Uh, little things like that. In Hardcore, that's not the case. In Hardcore, it basically removes all of that. You can't teleport to garages. You can't forward time. Uh, you uh, and, and fuel consumption is, is higher than it is in, in Casual. So let's go ahead and start this game. We're going to go Hardcore, Planes, we're over at the last saved game. Again, at the time of this recording, the game only supports one single player uh, save game at once. So I'll give you a quick overview of the HUD before we get going. For those who haven't even heard of this game, um, which I'm sure you have, because this game is everywhere now, but for those who haven't, it's really, take it from me, it's an amazing simulator. It's so fun. Uh, let me just show you an overview. Here we are. Uh, feel free to pause it at this point and, and read this. Uh, maybe I can get that out of the way. It makes that easier to read. Why it's doing that, I don't know. Uh, but that just shows you what everything does. Uh, all wheel, diff lock. You can't see diff lock because it's not in the gear. Here we are. There's diff lock. It's in the bottom left. All these things come into... Uh, you're, you're constantly turning them on and off, especially in hardcore mode to conserve fuel. So there we go. So here we're at a, we're at a garage uh, on this map right here. It's currently nighttime. Um, we're at the garage where you can select what vehicle to start with. And, and really, the vehicle you select what you start with is up to you, and maybe it's based on an objective you want to do. So, for example, you can choose to... Well, I have this all googly. You can choose to um, maybe clear the map, like uncloak all these cloaked spots. So all these black circles are areas that you have to visit to then open them up on the map. Uh, it's to simulate that uh, unknown areas. That you, so you don't really know this map until you visit it. Uh, so you can make that an objective. Uh, you'll see that it actually says objective in the upper left here. Uh, that is the map's main objective. And that is to uh, get lumber from this lumber yard here and deliver it all the way over here uh, using the vehicles in the garage from over here or vehicles that you find on the map. You'll see that some of them are locked. And as you discover them, they become unlocked to use. So what we'll do is just go straight into deliver delivering. Um, let's just go straight into delivering some logs. Uh, in multiplayer, I would probably say one person start uncloaking, and the other one maybe make their way over. Uh, maybe someone go get a, a giant gas tank and fill it up at the fuel station, which I think on this map is somewhere over here. Uh, so on and so forth. So let's just let's do that. Uh, you'll you'll sorry, and you'll notice one thing I wanted to mention. You'll notice the objective has points zero of eight. What that means is when you pick up a load of lumber, the larger the load, <laughs> uh, get rid of those dirty, dirty thoughts. The larger the uh, load of lumber, the more points they're worth. So right now I have this carriage 
uh, piece on this truck and that will allow us to carry short logs you can opt to uninstall that and install a log cart and this log cart can carry uh, short logs but you can then add a medium log trailer and now you can carry the medium logs so let's try to spin around so you can see here whoa like so or you can instead of that you just uh, detach that and add the long trailer and now you can carry longer uh, logs and and each one of those is worth more points so we're just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to just do a simple a simple uh, carriage we'll, we'll do that all right and we're going to get going headlights of course on and off uh, so we I'm going to turn this map around to more suit the direction I want to go we want to go straight up which is north so we're going to go north here we go from the headlights if we want, but we don't really need them. Uh, the whole premise of it looking, you know, like fairly light when the lights are off and, and it's nighttime, like it's not pitch black. The whole premise there is that your eyes in real life would adjust and like the moon and starlight would probably illuminate it enough to, for you to see something in and around this. Uh, I guess that's the premise around this, you know, illumination at this point. Uh, but, you know, it's very rare that I need to use the headlights. So I, I don't typically myself. Sometimes I do. It depends on the mood I'm in. But look at this physics. Look at these mud physics. It's just oh, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful looking game. I absolutely adore it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go straight. In fact, we're probably gonna try to unlock that cloak that's there. So let's go left. I think this might swing around. It looks like it might. So I currently have all-wheel drive and diff lock on. Uh, for those that just skipped ahead and didn't read what those do. All wheel, of course, like all wheel drive, all your wheels will turn instead of just your rear wheels. And diff lock uh, makes all your wheels spin at the same speed, which I believe means they all spin with the same torque as opposed to being independent, which of course uses more fuel when these modes are on, but also, I'll turn diff lock off, but also uh, gets you a better traction in very uh, difficult, muddy, sticky situations. So when you can, don't have diff lock on uh, because you want to conserve your, your fuel, especially in hardcore mode when fuel is uh, consumed a lot quicker than in casual. So here's the time where I'm going to need diff lock because we're just sort of sliding all over the place. You probably know some lights over there. Uh, it's just like these kind of fantasy looking flowers which seem a little out of place, but I kind of wonder if they're a uh, like an Easter egg or something. But they're just illuminated flowers, just... Out in the middle of nowhere here. See some over there as well. Because why not? So there's the circle I was talking about. You see it there, the black circle with the little uh, black funnel in the middle of it. We are going to drive into that, and that should uncloak. We're taking some water damage here. Got a little too deep there. Uh, that should uncloak that portion of the map. So we're going to go ahead. I'll show you what it looks like now. It's cloaked. So you can see it. And we're going to drive into it. Now it is uncloaked. So now we can see, okay, what where there might be a new path to take. So it looks like what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to the... Well, I could go right and go up the path there. So let's try that. Let's go right. There seems to be a path over here that takes us up. Uh, just around the corner here. I don't know if that's it straight ahead or if it's right to my right here. Yeah, it's right here. I am using... Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned this. But I am using a 360 controller. Uh, I prefer using that. This game, I prefer driving with a 360 controller. It just feels better. Uh, there's no wheel support, but the devs are working on that. So that's nice that they're supporting it that way. Uh, as of right now, whoa! Uh, you cannot use any winch with your controller. There's fuel there. I can't get to it. Uh, you can't use winch controls with your gamepad, so you have to have like one hand on your keyboard when you want to pull your winch, and one um, uh, on the on the game on the key on the gamepad. Yeah. For now, but they're they're working on adding like reinbindable gamepad controls and allowing you to actually use the winch control in your gamepad. I don't know how that was an oversight, but it was. Uh, oh, it looks like we just we just go straight. Yeah, we just go straight here. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to turn off my diff lock to conserve uh, conserve a bit of fuel. I don't know if we really need all wheel on right now. 
We're not really into any mud. There we go. Yeah, we're looking good. Uh, so it looks like we're going to be hanging a right, or sorry, a left, just up the road here. And that looks like that's mud, so I'm going to switch on my all wheel in preparation. And probably even diff lock if this gets bad. No, it's not mud, it's just it's not mud at all. Although that's a dark spot. It's hard to tell. Oh, what is this? Cabin in the woods. I think I missed my turn. Yep. I did. Yeah, see there's some soft some soft dirt there. That can get you. So in casual mode you can use uh, this gear up here, which is automatic. So you can just hit brake to reverse, it'll automatically do it, whereas in uh, hardcore you have to switch down here. Uh, you can still use automatic in hardcore mode, but it removes the ability to use your uh, diff lock uh, when you're in automatic. So there's that, and here's a time where I would like to use it. Whoops, there we go. Because of here. Oh, what? Took some damage to the truck, but we're okay. There we go. We're okay. We want to turn all the way around here. Okay, good. I can switch it up into higher gear now and start going a little bit quicker on this more uh, flat-ish land where we're less likely to do damage to our vehicle. It looks like... Oh, I just stalled my car because we stopped in that gear. Uh, yeah, we want to go straight, it appears. Let's see, uh, so we want to go straight. There's a vehicle there that we could unlock to our right. So let's do that on the way, since we're on the way. Why not? So that's to our right. We'll take this path here. Should be okay. There's a bridge here we got to be careful of. Line myself up so we don't slip off. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Shoot! Oh boy. Oh no, engine stalled. Come on, baby. Okay, wow. This is not good. Um <laughs> Okay. Winch. Oh no, we have no <laughs> we have no winch. Uh Okay. Let's see if we have Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway from behind us. It doesn't look like we Oh, right there. Let's see if this will help. We're gonna pull ourselves. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Oh man. We gotta be careful not to tip. Come on. Come on. I'm not sure how to. Oh wow. <laughs> not good. Okay, so we're gonna put this bad boy into reverse and maybe I can give it some gas. Uh, while we pull. So this is where it gets tricky. So I gotta need one hand on the keyboard and one on my gamepad. There we go. Let's turn the wheels the other way here. See if we can just pull ourselves up. So there's winching. Oh, and there's the vehicle. <laughs> so we were, we kind of had to go this way. Okay. Um, we're still kind of in a predicament here. So let's see if we can pull ourselves this way. Here we go. Gonna reverse a bit. Hopefully spin us around without tipping. Oh boy, this is not good. Let's see if we'll just try pulling. Oh boy. Okay. So we're just gonna unhook that. And maybe pull ourselves back this way some more. See if we can get our truck to just spin around slightly. Oh, we unlocked it! There we go. <laughs> Mission accomplished. And what is it? It looks like it's a little Jeep. We can change truck from here. Like so. Yeah, it's a little Jeep. So we have a little Jeep unlocked. Very well. Uh, let's just hop back into this guy. And let's see what we can do. We're going to have to pull ourselves out somehow. Uh, maybe over here. Put this into uh, low gear. And just pull. Just pump the gas a bit. Oh boy. This is... Probably a bad idea, maybe. Look oh, at that little tree holding us up. Nice. Alright, so now let's see if we can... There we go. Pull ourselves up that way. Perfect. Perfect. Come on. 
Come on. Up, up. There we go. Nice. So let's... We should be good now. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. Woohoo. So that worked out. We got the vehicle unlocked. And we, uh, we got ourselves unstuck. Excellent. So is there anyone watching who owns this game? And if you do, how do you like it? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? What do you want the developers to add? Because uh, I'm sure there's a lot of really cool ideas out there. Also, for those who don't know, there's actually going to be modding support. I think there's modding support now. Um, I could be mistaken. But they're definitely adding... Uh, if there isn't now, they're definitely adding modding support. And there we're going to see probably a lot of new types of vehicles and things you can do with that. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. Let's see what they add there. Uh, but for an out-of-box experience, it's it's fantastic. It really, really is. Uh, the developers are going to be adding wheel support. There currently is not any. Uh, they're going to be adding uh, a cockpit view, which there currently is, isn't any. Uh, which would be very helpful, especially in scenarios where... Uh, in scenarios where you're sort of trees are in the way and you can't really see where you're going. So what have we done here? I need to... It doesn't really seem like a way out. I gotta go through the trees here. Okay, I probably shouldn't have went this way. Um, I'm gonna navigate through here, I suppose. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, the game handles quite well with the, with the gamepad. I would definitely want to see some uh, rebinding options with it. I'm gonna go this way here. Uh, and definitely a winch pull button on the gamepad. As, as it stands right now, you have, like I said, you have to have one hand on the gamepad and one on the uh, keyboard in order to do that sort of thing, which is which is very cumbersome and annoying. Not very intuitive. Uh, but they've already stated that they're going to fix that. So that would be fantastic. Uh, you still will need some level of control, uh, like with the mouse and the keyboard for certain things, uh, like selecting winch points. Uh, they do not currently have... Oh, let's get our diff lock on. You currently don't have a way to do that with the gamepad to select which points. Uh, which makes sense, because it's, it's sort of a uh, very, uh, you know, uh, precise kind of mechanic. So there's the uh, second vehicle we need to unlock, which we're about to do so right now. That one looks like it has a gas tank on it, which means it probably has gas in it. Uh, so we can use it to refuel if we want to. Uh, we don't really need to at this point, but maybe we will. And there's the lumber yard right behind us. So I'm just going to back up into it, I think. That is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put this in reverse. I'm just going to reverse into the lumber yard. Come on, baby. This is some really, really deep mud here. So it can pose a problem. And you got to remember, though, uh, how difficult this is without any lumber or, you know, a heavy load on your truck. Imagine with it, uh, with the load on. So uh, your truck does get significantly heavier and thus affects how uh, how you navigate. So I'm going to add the short logs because that's, that's the only thing this can hold. 